I'll tell you that story. Sure. It's very interesting. Uh, there was this great yogi. A um, lot of people know of him. You might have heard him. Uh, one of the Nath yogis, Gorakshanath. Baba Gorakshanath. He was like an immortal yogi. He's an Amsa of Shiva, they say. Okay. He was like a part of... Uh, deities can send their Amsa something. Amsa means a portion of their energy into the human form. Okay. And those people become great saints or great yogis and guide a lot of people like that, etc. So once Gorakshanath... He was going long back, many centuries ago, he was going to the city of Ujjain, okay, Avantika. And the king of that place, he was a great uh, scholar and things like that. He had written fantastic texts and he had a lot of, uh, as it ha used to happen with kings, um, he had a lot of women and many wives and things like that, okay. So I am telling you the overall um, rough story a little bit so that the gist of the idea comes across so one of his favorite queens dies okay some incidents happen and queen dies and he's terribly sad terribly sad means he's like okay my life is done there's nothing else to do i mean this is the only woman i loved and she was the love of my life and etc etc like this so gorakshanath sees this Gorakshanath has a Kamandulu. Kamandulu, you know, this yogis carry the uh, water they will carry in that for Achman and various other purposes. So it's made of. A, so he takes the Kamandulu and he breaks it in the ground. Okay. And then he starts crying. Exactly like the king. Ki, mera ye toot gaya. It's gone. It's like, oh my God, I, am, I was, this is the thing I wanted. And the king got very pissed off. Hmm. And he said that, what are you doing? Okay. You're, you think that, uh, you know, uh, that thing you are you are trying to mimic me and mock me and all that. He said, no, no, I actually, that that's the only thing I possession I have and I love it so deeply. He said that uh, and then the king gets even more pissed off. He said, I am crying because my wife is gone. Okay. It's a human being and you are uh, mocking me because of this commandul. So, Gorakshanath then tells him <coughs> that, uh, oh, I, um, are you sure you really loved your wife that deeply? But I also loved my you, you may have loved your wife, but I loved my Kamandulu. Hmm. For me, this is the most important thing in life. So, by now the king is like really pissed. And kings, when they get very angry, they can, you know, they can kill you also. You can say, he is, kill this person, something like that. They can be whimsical. So, but Goraksha tells him that, okay, if you really loved your wife, I'll put you to a test. So, Goraksha had many occult abilities. Okay. So, what he does is that he creates 25 women looking exactly like his wife and tells him that find out which is your wife. If you can tell me this is my wife of these 25 he had the ability to create these things. He was a he was an immortal yogi. He was not an ordinary person. He was among the Navanath, nine Nath yogis who are immortal sort of. Okay. Uh, and the king is like stunned. 25 women exactly same looking, talking, same mannerism of speaking, sitting, talking, etc. And he, he is like clueless. Okay, what is happening? And then suddenly in his mind, there is this brainwave like epiphany that happens. Okay, and he falls at the feet of Goraksha. And he says that, uh, you teach me what is the reality of the world. Okay. And then Goraksha gives him Sanyas Diksha and he leaves his kingdom and he becomes a Nath Yogi himself. And then he writes beautiful compositions on Vairagya. He becomes a great Nath Yogi. Vairagya is? Vairagya is detachment. You detach yourself from the material world, you will get bliss of the spiritual world. But an Almost no one can have both of these together. If you are in the material, you will pass through pleasure and pain. Now this, now that, etc. But this story I find very interesting and I find very beautiful uh, uh, because um, it demonstrates actually for us that uh, you create by by your existence you create a maya around you through your attachment, and that is normal for all people. But also your true spiritual growth will start. When from deep within you feel that ne bahut ho gaya hai. There's a cry that will come out. In his case it happened because he created, because of the power of the yogi. From our case, others also for that matter. When there is a deep down, there's a, there is a, there is a, uh, uh, not resentment, but more like you are tired of the world. Bahut ho gaya, sab dekh liya, everything. See, the same theme you will find in the first chapter of the Gita is Arjuna Vishad Yoga. Vishad means he's, he's in a state of depression. He's confused that these are my relatives. Abhi tak to there was full jingoism of war. Karna hai, karna hai, karna hai, sab kuch hai. At the moment, he's confused. These are my relatives. Okay, he doesn't know. So, it creates a dilemma in the mind. 
you are tired you don't know what the hell it is and then you look for somebody who is more intelligent and wiser and more capable ki boss tell me what it is and then there is the whole geeta that flows okay and after that he tells him no you have to still fight because this is destined this is dharma you cannot escape from dharma but you fight with a degree of detachment at this is the crux of all spiritual practices at the end of the day even if you read yoga vashishta which is one of the most beautiful uh, texts uh, um, it has it starts of this way that lord rama is having conversation with rishi vashishta and vashishta is explaining vashishta is his kula guru but rama starts of this way that i have seen all the women i have seen all the wealth i have seen everything i have no attachment to what is fir- i am tired of all this what is there what is beyond this and then he goes into a deep conversation and discussion on the spiritual aspects kundal sab kuch everything is there at one point when the soul becomes tired of maya then this as i was mentioning this cry comes out and it may not be a loud thing it's not something that's audible also something that you know there is this desire from within what what i've seen all this is it all that there is to the universe is there something beyond this and that is when bhairava responds he says that okay i'll show you what is beyond this but to go to class 10 you have to leave class 9 you cannot keep attending the class 9 and class 10 and still go to class 10. एक चीज छोड़ोगे तब जाके ऊपर जाओगे क्या ओके